A TMJ4 exclusive now. New developments tonight in a Milwaukee cold case. The murder of musical artist Lala Brown. Milwaukee police say they've turned a case over to the district attorney to await charges. But over at the DA's office, they see the status of the case differently. It's now been just over 10 years since standout R&B singer Yolanda Rose Lala Brown and Jayton Kool-Aid Claiborne were gunned down in Claiborne's Milwaukee recording studio. Lala's father, William Brown, still mourns the loss of his beautiful, talented, self-made daughter. She went out there and she read the book and found out how to do the music industry and try to get over with the bigger people. And and this is what happened. Brown's grief compounded by frustration. He says police told him they've completed their investigation into a federal inmate and turned the matter over to the Milwaukee County District Attorney. Yet nobody's been charged. They think they got a pretty good case. I don't know what's holding up the DA right now. Milwaukee police confirmed Brown's account, saying in a statement, MPD has turned the case over to the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office and is awaiting a charging decision. Brown has a message for prosecutors. Do like you told me. Charge the person that you say you was going to charge, you know, because the only person know exactly who you say you were going to charge was me and my wife, and we haven't even told our daughters yet. Now, late today, Deputy District Attorney Kent Lovern gave a slightly different account of the case's status, emailing me. ADA Paul Tiffin has been working with the MPD cold case unit on this investigation for some time, and that investigation is still open and active. Obviously, we'll follow up on this and we'll keep you posted.